Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Joining me for this segment, we have Anna Paglia. She's the head of ETFs and index strategies at Invesco to discuss how not to suck at money. Anna, it's great to see you as always. Welcome back to Trade Talks. Thank you so much, Jill. Great to see you and thank you for having me. Of course. And give us the reasons behind why Invesco QQQ decided to partner with the NCAA to create a financial education program for all of its students. Uh, so, Jill, uh, as you may appreciate, uh, education is nothing new to ETFs. Uh, in the last 30 years, uh, ETFs uh, have been all about uh, educating markets, educating clients on what ETFs are and uh, how to use ETFs. And what we are seeing now is that there is a, a young demographic, it's a new generation of investors. This new generation is growing fast and furious. They have the technology, they have the means, they have the opportunity to invest. And the way we look at that is uh, there are no really bad investment decisions as long as decisions are informed ones. Uh, we engaged in a research with Invesco QQQ and a sample, a very large sample of students, including the student athletes. And we came to find out that uh, uh, students are really not comfortable making investment decisions because over 40% of students feel like they don't have sufficient information to navigate their financial dilemmas. So that really uh, created the foundation for how not to suck at money. And uh, as you can see on the website, it starts with, uh, it's really easy to suck at money. Let's try not to, and we are giving you some of the tools that you are gonna need to navigate your financial decisions. And what are the goals with having how not to suck at money resonate with the students? The goals, uh, the goals are really, uh, so first of all, we want to give them a tool that they don't have available today. Uh, because the other thing that came out from our survey is that uh, only one out of 10 students uh, has uh, access to financial education as part of a high school or college curriculum. So we, we, we are really trying to fill that gap and uh, provide information and in financial education in a way that is uh, very current, uh, relevant with them, and it's also fun. And let's not forget the other F word, which is free. Everybody likes free things these days. So we think that how not to suck at money brings everything together. What differentiates how not to suck at money from other financial education programs? How Not to Suck at Money is created with students in mind, and the content is also created with feedback that we received from students. Uh, we interviewed about 1,500 students and student athletes when developing the content for How Not to Suck at Money. Because the last thing we wanted was to be the old dad, old mom at the disco. Uh, so coming in into a new environment and speaking uh, um, all the financial people language. So these uh, students uh, helped us uh, really create uh, the content, uh, create the language, develop colors, uh, develop, develop visuals. Uh, and the other thing that differentiates how not to suck money from other things, uh, other financial literature tools uh, is that, uh, which is something that I personally really, really like, is uh, it's a living and breathing creature. We have a board of advisors of uh, former athletes uh, uh, that uh, really provides advice on the content of the program and uh, it uh, evolves uh, as uh, market events evolve. So for example, we have just launched a new module on cryptocurrencies, and that came from questions we got from the students and student athletes population. So it evolves together with uh, times and is uh, really built based on a bottom-up approach that was uh, uh, created by students for students. And finally, Anna, give us an overview of Invesco's commitment to financial literacy? Uh, Invesco, and in particular, Invesco QQQ are incredibly committed to financial literacy. 
we are doing a massive outreach to students everywhere. We have a partnership with Georgia Tech, uh, and we have partnered with the NCAA because uh, we believe that there is a need for uh, students, and in particular student athletes, uh, to navigate their financial problems and financial dilemmas in a way that is uh, easy, it's fun, and it's informed. Our commitment and our partnership with the NCAA, it's an uh, all-year-long commitment. Uh, we, we are fully invested in the financial decisions and the financial education of students because we believe that this next generation of investors is going to be the generation that is going to have to be fully informed given the amount of information that is not always accurate information, honestly, that is available to them on social media. Yep. Very good point, Anna. Appreciate the insight as always. Thanks for joining us on Trade Talks. I'm Jill Melandrino, Global Market Reporter at NASDAQ. Thank you for having me, Jill.